All right, so we're going to go into the next session. That's going to talk about uh, different resources for women. So this is going to go right off of what we just talked about. So yes, we're going to defund Planned Parenthood. We're going to get them out of our schools. We're going to, you know, take them down as an organization. But a huge part of um, this argument is also saying, okay, what can we actually offer? So we have Brandy Swindell and Renee Bergman. Uh, Brandy's going to come and talk about pregnancy resources. She um, directs the Stanton Health, I think it's Stanton Healthcare in um, Idaho. It's one of the leading pregnancy resource centers. Um, so she's going to talk a little bit about offering resources to women, and then Renee's going to come up and talk about adoption. So those are both really important uh, topics that you need to be versed in. You need to know what's going on in your community if you're going to reach out to women and offer an alternative to Planned Parenthood. Uh, so Brandy, where is she? There she is. Students for Life of America. You guys are like the premier pro-life organization, like the leading organization made up of students changing and transforming college campuses around the nation for the cause of life and to uphold the dignity of women. I am so happy to be here. I'm very grateful for the invitation from Kristen Hawkins and Tina Whittington and the entire leadership to be able to share with you from my heart what I'm so passionate about, standing for women, replacing Planned Parenthood, it, uh, we all have our role, we all have our place, and let me tell you something, we were in D.C., and my assistant, who's here with me, Promise, we, made, we got on like the very last plane, like 5.30 on Friday, made it out of Washington, D.C., and that crazy snowstorm, and we were like committed to making sure that we got to this conference because the work that Students for Life is doing is so incredibly important, and I am such a believer and how God is using you and the difference that you are making. And let me um, just share with you, I've been in the pro-life movement for 17 years now, and I started off in my early 20s when I was young, like you, all your beautiful, vibrant faces, you are incredible spokespeople, spokesmen and women for your generation, and you are really Planned Parenthood's worst nightmare. Um, we heard Kristen talking earlier about the marketing firms that they hire. They spend millions and millions and millions of dollars trying to market your generation and buy your generation so that you would be advocates for their work and advocates for abortion. And so when you don't buy the lie, when you don't believe in the lie, that in, it, in and of itself is a huge threat to Planned Parenthood. And then, when you become actively involved in making a difference, it's incredible, it's absolutely amazing. I wanna read something uh, to you really quick. I know a lot of you are familiar with um, Pregnancy Center work. Stanton Healthcare, which I'm the founder and CEO of, I started in 2006, is, an, is a life-affirming women's medical clinic. And uh, let me just share with you a story that kind of paints a picture of who we are. This is not a good time for me to have a baby. These were the emphatic words from Jessica. We've changed her name for confidentiality. As she sat in the counseling office with our clinic manager, Angie, she said, this is not a good time for me to have a baby. She had been next door at Planned Parenthood, was about to have an abortion, but then hopped off the table when she realized that she couldn't go through with it. She immediately came next door to Stanton, and she said she wanted to make an adoption plan. We contacted our private adoption attorney who met with Jessica that day, that very same day, and she began the adoption process. Jessica then came back in for a follow-up ultrasound at Stanton, and this time she brought Lindsay, the adoptive mom, with her. Together they witnessed the miracle of life. It was not only a miracle to see that baby on the screen, but to also see the birth mom and the adoptive mom shedding tears of joy together. What a privilege to be a vessel for God, to be used in the transformation and the saving of lives. If it were not for Stanton, there would not be a baby for me to adopt, said adoptive mom Lindsay. That's the power and the work that we do. And you can tell in that story when um, Jessica 
was scheduled to abort her child and something inside her told her, no, I can't do this. That, in, that innate understanding, I can't do this. This is anti-woman to do something like this. I can't harm my child. And she hopped off the table and my favorite part in that, and she walked next door to Stanton. Part of Stanton's mission in replacing Planned Parenthood is strategically locating ourselves right next door to abortion clinics and specifically Planned Parenthoods. We have the same concept and belief and mission, like Kristen uh, mentioned, that we have got to take on the Goliath in the abortion industry. We have got to go head to head with the largest abortion provider in the world. And that's what we're doing through the work in the ministry of Stanton Healthcare. We have launched an affiliate program, and our hope is that um, as we grow our, our chain and our affiliates of Stanton Clinics around the nation and around the world, that we would also be a movement with a goal of replacing Planned Parenthood because we believe that every woman, every woman around the world deserves access to quality care and compassionate alternatives to abortion. Our namesake, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, sure some of you have heard of her from the suffragette movement, in 1873 said, when we consider that women are treated as property, it is degrading to women that we should treat our children as property to be disposed of as we see fit. See, it's anti-woman to treat our children as property. When we're fighting for equality, when we're fighting for women's empowerment, when we're fighting to be a voice, to be... Um, important and powerful in this world that when we would do something so demeaning like taking the life of our own child. But what's interesting, one of the things that Planned Parenthood does is that they, they hunt women when they're in a vulnerable place. And that's, that's the lie that the Planned Parenthood doesn't want people to know. They, they hunt women and they exploit women when they're vulnerable and they feel they have no other place to go, no other place to turn. And let me tell you, when these girls walk into our doors at Stanton Healthcare instead of going to Planned Parenthood, they find true quality women's health care. They find hope, they find compassion, they find a safe place, they find a place of justice, and this is what women deserve. We don't charge for any of our services. We're able to provide these women with an ultrasound uh, scan at no charge. That's the window to the womb. And Stanton, we, we're not your typical pregnancy center. I love the pregnancy center movement. There's so many amazing, wonderful pregnancy centers and organizations like CareNet and Heartbeat and, and NIFLA and Birthright, just amazing people that have labored in the movement for many years. But, but we're the type of organization, we get you know an ultrasound machine. We're grateful for the Knights of Columbus and partnering with them so that we can have state-of-the-art ultrasound machines and imaging. We got a stationary um, ultrasound machine for our Boise Clinic. And then we also got a portable ultrasound machine because we bought a 36-foot Class A RV, converted it into a mobile clinic. It's really cool. We take it out to the refugee communities. We take it out to the underserved areas, um, which, again, that's really important in battling Planned Parenthood because they're trying to get all this webcam legislation passed. Have you guys heard of that? The webcam abortions um, where they do the chemical abortion pills. And, and the woman doesn't even meet with a doctor. They just go in, meet with a medical assistant at Planned Parenthood. They, there's a Skype um, a meeting with a doctor who's who knows where, who then um, prescribes the abortion pill, and then you know a little button's pushed and, and a drawer opens, and the medical assistant can give out the abortion pill. That's not quality health care. That's treating women like uh, animals to make money off of them. That's not quality health care. So when we have our portable ultrasound machine and a, a professional medical clinic on wheels, our mobile clinic, that we can take out to these rural communities in these underserved areas where Planned Parenthood says, oh, but we have to do the webcam abortions because these poor women are going to die if they don't get this abortion pill. And we have to do this. This is health care. And we say, well, no, actually health care is taking the time and having the, having a mobile clinic that goes out to these rural communities and actually meets with these women and actually provides them with ultrasounds and pregnancy support and maternity supplies and parenting classes and life coaching and the list goes on and on and on of the things that we can provide. That's true healthcare. But with this portable machine that we have on our mobile, we actually do things like take it down to the Idaho State Legislature, and we actually took our portable machine to Washington, D.C., and we did something called Voices from the Womb, and we did a live ultrasound in our nation's capital and in the Idaho State Capitol. Yeah, a live ultrasound. So that the babies in the womb 
could lobby their lawmakers. Hello? How awesome is that? We also have an 18-month program where we stay with our moms through the duration of their pregnancy and a minimum of nine months afterwards. Where we um, also do things, um, we're adding a wellness uh, component to our outreach where we can do massage therapy and just the list goes on and on of, of wellness care. We can do annual exams for women, STD testing, all that kind of stuff that, that Planned Parenthood says that's all they do but then they really don't provide that. We, we know that they are an abortion business, that's what, what they're about. We actually are working towards truly providing those things to women. We looked at our um, numbers last year in 2015, just at our Boise Center, we saw 700 women, which is a pretty big, big client load of women that needed our services, and our numbers just continued to grow because we're right next door to Planned Parenthood and we're truly providing quality health care, and in doing that, we are replacing Planned Parenthood in the hearts and minds of the women we serve, and we're replacing them in our communities, and we're replacing Planned Parenthood in our nation's capital. I like to call it a full court press. We have several walk-ins every week. 93% of our clients choose life after an ultrasound scan and counseling. I think this is interesting in the work that I do, something that I discovered, and, and maybe you've heard of this. I'm going to read something for you. On January 23rd, 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell graduated first in her class, becoming the first female doctor in the United States. Her decision to become a physician was cinched when she heard of women performing abortions. Referring to an article in the New York Herald about a, about a notorious female abortion provider, Elizabeth wrote in her diary, the gross perversion and destruction of motherhood by the abortionist filled me with indignation and awakened active antagonism. That the honorable term female physician should be exclusively applied to those women who carried on the shocking trade seemed to me a horror. It was an utter degradation of what might and should become a noble position for women. That's from Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell, the first woman physician in the U.S. She opposed abortion. Isn't that powerful when we look at, look at the history of the medical field, when we look at the history of women in leadership? See, what we want to do with Stanton Healthcare is we want to reclaim women's health care. We want to reclaim that mantle of women's health care that Planned Parenthood has never had the right to take. So we want to reclaim women's health care to its rightful place of love, hope, compassion, justice, true quality health care. We had um, an exciting thing that's happened that I'm excited to announce to you and share with you because we're a room full of, of lifers. So I told you about our Boise location, right next door to Planned Parenthood, which was a miracle that we got that building because we're a grassroots organization, like any solid pro-life organization. Nothing stops us. We don't have to have a ton of money. We don't care if there's snow. We don't care about the weather. We're going to go out. We're going to march. We're going to stand for life. We're going to come to conferences. We'll drive across the country. We, we're committed, right? Because we stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in the womb and because we care about women. So we don't have a lot of money, but we were able to buy our building next door to Planned Parenthood in Boise, which was a miracle. It was originally listed for $644,000, and the price kept dropping. And through a series of events, we were able to get it for $250,000, right? Is that awesome? And we paid it off in one year, so we own it outright. Then we got a grant, a $50,000 grant, again from the Knights of Columbus, for our, our ultrasound, or for our mobile. We paid that off, our ultrasound machines. A lot of business people, people of goodwill coming alongside us, and people who aren't even like us, you know, actively pro-life, pro-life activists, right? People of goodwill. When you tell the truth, just like Kristen was saying, when you tell them the truth about Planned Parenthood, when you say the word abortion, and then you share about 
the work of the Pregnancy Center Movement and these other wonderful pro-life organizations and of Stanton, they see that what we're doing is good and they want to help and they want to support. So that's a really important role that all of you have as students, is being ambassadors and advocates for pregnancy care centers in your community. But we paid off that building, we, paid, we got our mobile clinic, and then we got the tragic news in 2013 that Planned Parenthood, which is under the Planned Parenthood in, in Idaho, is part of the Planned Parenthood of the Greater Northwest. So um, we're kind of, the Planned Parenthood is under the direction of Seattle, Seattle's Planned Parenthood. So they're getting more aggressive in, in Idaho, and they opened up a mega center in Meridian, which is about 20, 30 minutes from our Boise location. And so we got our leadership team together, and we said, and they did it all secretively, like Planned Parenthood does, you know? They're secretive about what they do. They opened up this Make a Planned Parenthood in 2013, and we began to strategize and think about what our response should be. We started to pray, and I got this strong sense, lay hold of the ground, next to this new Planned Parenthood, this mega center. And so I went out there to, to, to look at this Planned Parenthood, and, and um, was having a heart of, of prayer for the women that would be going in there that day. And um, I looked over and there was a lot of land next door to this, this mega Planned Parenthood with a for sale sign in it. And so a group of us got together, a small group of us, and we went and, you know, what do we do? We, we prayed. We started praying. We said, Lord, if it's your will someday that we would have this land and build a center, okay, you know, to show us, you know, it was a very optimistic kind of a lob it up there prayer, you know, like, ah, who knows, but okay. In two very short months, we bought the property. Now, here's the cool part. In Boise, we're on one side of Planned Parenthood. We had to buy two adjoining lots, so we own land on each side of the Planned Parenthood, like a, like a sandwich. Now... $544,000 to buy those two pieces of land on each side of the Planned Parenthood, okay? We had to take out a loan. On the day of closing, okay, so 544000 this was in 2013. On the day of closing, we got a $272,000 cash donation to go towards paying off the property. Yeah. Hey, you clapping. You're fired up. Now, here's the best part. The donation came from the silent business partner of the development. He and his wife were devout pro-life Catholics. And when they realized that they had unknowingly sold property to Planned Parenthood, because Planned Parenthood lied, Planned Parenthood brought in an outside covering group from California, just said it was a little medical facility. When this couple found out that Planned Parenthood had bought property from them and there was nothing they could do to stop it at that point. They were devastated. They were grieved. And when they found out what God had put in Stanton's heart and that we were going to buy the property, they prayed and they felt from the Lord, we want to give back. They felt in their hearts, instead of making a property on the sale of this, pro th this land, we want to see a Stanton healthcare, healthcare built right next door to their, this Planned Parenthood. So they gave us that donation. That's how powerful the God is that we serve. And that's why we can never give up. We never know how it's going to work out. But if we are persistent and we are committed and we are sacrificial, we will see miracles like that continue to happen. So I'm happy to announce to you, it took us two years. Just this last fall, a few months ago, we paid off that other $272,000. So we own the land outright. Okay? So now... Now we got to build. We are going to build the first ever life-affirming mega center from the ground up right next door to Planned Parenthood. Come on. The picture. The picture of it. I wish I had a bigger picture for you. We're going to have exam rooms, state-of-the-art medical center, ultrasounds, counseling rooms. We're going to have a volunteer center. We're going to have a wellness side. We're going to have a yoga center, a yoga center, Jesus-centered yoga center. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, right? Right? I mean, these moms are going to get care like a Planned Parenthood couldn't, can't even wrap their mind around the type of quality care that we're going to make sure women have. We're going to have a baby boutique, and I can't wait. I really want a shabby chic chandelier in the, right? I'm like obsessed with it, right? Promise is like all I think about 
I was like, we have to have the shabby chic chandelier and the baby boutique, but it's a miracle. It's going to be amazing. And when we do the ribbon cutting, when we build the building, we do the ribbon cutting, you're all invited to be there. Come out to Idaho and be there for the ribbon cutting. We can all take part of it. You can all be a part of the Stanton revolution. And some of the cool things that are part of this also, we have a builder. We've, we've already found our builder. He's, he and his wife are going to donate their time to be our builder, save us about $50,000. The architectural firm we found, they're like-minded. They have a heart for what we're doing. And they, um, the architectural plans and the civil engineering is usually thirty dollars to 40000 for a building of our size. Their, their invoice was $12,000, so like way below cost. We have a two different painting companies that have said, we'll do the painting, labor materials inside and outside free of charge. We have a lighting company said, we'll do the lighting inside and outside. I talked to our builder, that's gonna save us about $20,000. It's gonna be a little over a million dollars to build this building, but we believe that number is gonna to continue to come down because of people of goodwill wanting to be a part of doing, of making a difference. So we wanna keep working in Washington, D.C. to make a difference. We wanna continue with advocacy and activism on campuses like you're doing. We'll continue to do our part in replacing Planned Parenthood and we're gonna see amazing miracles continue to happen and we also launched with our affiliate program in October we launched our very first international affiliate Stanton Belfast how cool is that we opened an affiliate in Charlotte we have a Stanton SoCal this is something I'm really excited about too. We're gonna, we're, we're, I was in DC, you know, for the march before the epic snowstorm came, and I had a series of meetings, and I met with some Washington DC leaders, and we are working on launching a Stanton Public Policy Center to go head to head with Planned Parenthood in our nation's capital. Right? I love it. This is the best crowd ever. I can just say anything. You get a car, and you get a car. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's exciting. I love it. It's so exciting how this is all coming together. See, and we can work hand in hand. I love the campaign Women Betrayed, the Students for Life of America did. I loved, loved, loved that campaign because, yes, we are about the innocent children in the womb. We believe human rights begin in the womb, but we care about these women. The reason I got involved, two women come to mind. When I was, um, again, in my early 20s, right before I got involved in pro-life activism, I, the catalyst for me, I was living in Yellowstone National Park. I was working out there, just expecting to enjoy, you know, the mountains, hiking, camping, all that wonderful stuff. And I had a roommate there. She ended up getting pregnant and unfortunately made the decision to have an abortion. And I got to see up close, personally, the lie from the enemy that he would destroy the life of an innocent child and destroy and crush the spirit of the woman. And so our work is so incredibly important as we show love and compassion to these women who have been hunted by an aggressive abortion lobby who need to know that there is hope and there is forgiveness. I have friends and family members who have had abortions and the pain is so real. And it reminds me there is a verse in the Bible that talks about God. There is a Jehovah Rapha, which means I am the Lord that heals you. And there's so much power in that. That this isn't about judgment and condemnation towards women, but we serve a God who heals and he restores and he makes all things new because he is a God of forgiveness, right? And there is a part of our work with Stanton Healthcare and with our wellness center, these women who are victimized by Planned Parenthood. And there's all different reasons that women make decisions to have an abortion. And I'm not trying to remove the responsibility that, that they have and that they need to work through and deal with but it's such a unique issue we're involved in and with. And many times there's coercion that's involved, and many times the decision is based out of fear. I mean, these all, there's all these different reasons. But we now have millions and millions of women and fathers who are post-abortive. And so our work is about love. It's about compassion. And I know all of you, all of you know this. And so as I'm sharing with you today what I want to encourage you on, well, first I want to say I want you to know that I am inspired by all of you tremendously. And support your pregnancy centers in your area. Find out who they are. Be able to refer to them. Volunteer for them. I'm so grateful when we have our Boise State University um, Students for Life um, club that comes and supports us. 
uh, at our banquets, they come and volunteer, they'll do fundraisers for us, but the biggest thing for you is to be able to refer to them. And so get to know them, tour your center, have their information on hand. We need you to be the hands and feet for us on your college campuses so that women just don't think or refer to Planned Parenthood, but that they know that there's pregnancy centers in their area that they can go to. And like they said earlier, it's not enough just to say go to the center, but to say don't, say don't go to Planned Parenthood, but go to this place where you're gonna be treated with dignity and respect. Um, you'll see this little boy up here. This is Justice. This is my assistant promise. She's here with me. That's her little boy. This is the hope that we're doing. Um, I was going to invite Promise up to sing real quick, but I think I'm just about out of time. Um, promise, do you want to come up and sing really quickly? We all can use our voice. Promise has a beautiful voice. Okay, I just wanted to say... That's my little boy, Justice. Here he is. Um, I know what it's like to face an unexpected pregnancy. So it's through God's amazing grace that I was able to get through it and um, choose motherhood. And so this song is for um, my baby, Justice, and for women facing unexpected pregnancies, and then also for the lives that we are fighting for. Um, so you can sing with me if you want, but. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind, but now I see. 